Welcome to this Demon Souls walkthrough. Listen well and you might survive in the unholy land of Boletaria. The king of Boletaria and his desire for the soul harnessed power known as the Soul Arts have roused the old one from its eternal slumber. The ancient being has sent a malicious fog to sweep across the land separating Boletaria from the rest of the world and bringing fearsome demons and madness in its wake. As the fog spreads, those who dare oppose it continue to fall. A dark figure, known as the Maiden in Black, has summoned you. It seems that you are Boletaria's final hope. But before you set foot on Boletaria soil, you have an important decision to make. What kind of warrior will you become? Your male or female champion has a highly customizable face and can become one of ten starting classes, including knight, royalty, and magician. Fine-tune eight different stats to create a character born for your style of battle. Equip your hero with two different weapons for each hand and a variety of protective gear. Use strategy in your selections to help your warrior move and fight seamlessly on the battlefield. Don't expect to outrun your foes while weighed down by heavy armor. If you prefer spellcasting, you'll learn two forms of magic. Spells, used primarily for attacks, and miracles, used primarily for support. Any class can use magic, but how well you'll be able to cast it depends on your stats. As you progress through Demon Souls, new weapons, armor, and magic will become available. However, some will be more difficult to obtain, physically and financially, than others. Don't squander the souls you collect. They are your only means of making transactions. Once outfitted for battle, your journey will begin. You'll find yourself on an expanse of land where you can become accustomed to your character before attempting the task at hand. Should you choose to forego this tutorial area, you will be transported to the Nexus. The Nexus is the hub connecting the many paths you will travel in Boletaria. It also becomes a second home to helpful characters, like storekeepers who can upgrade your weaponry, or some of the non-playable characters you'll meet during your journey. It is also here that your character can level, courtesy of the Maiden in Black and the souls you've collected. The Nexus houses five archstones that hold the power to transport you to different regions of the world. You will begin in Boletaria Palace, the first stage of the Small King's Archstone. Once you have successfully completed this area, the beginning areas of the other archstones will now open. To progress further, you will have to vanquish some absolutely terrifying monsters. Your task is to explore the five archstone regions and 16 stages among them, but after completing the first area, you may choose the order of your journey. Move freely between areas, but remember, no two regions are alike. Adjust your fighting style to your surroundings, and avoid areas you are ill-prepared for. In order to survive, discover the best way to defeat each of the enemies you encounter. You'll be faced with creatures whose unique characteristics ensure a tough fight. Like skeletons that continue to fight, even after numerous slashes from a sword, or bear bugs that roam freely through scalding lava. Decide when to charge head-on, and when to lure the enemy to you. Use what you have learned here, and perhaps you will be the one to lift the cursed fog of Boletaria and return the old one to its eternal slumber. In the next walkthrough, find out how a PlayStation Network account and some rare items can bring new tips, team-ups, and trickery to your Demon Souls experience. <laughs>